I do have to ask you about, obviously, the Jerry Harris allegations, a whole episode um, dedicated to to Jerry this season. Um, we hear from the twins who accused him. You, when the news first came out, did seem pretty shocked by the allegations. He has since admitted to what he was accused of. So I'm just curious what your thoughts are now. Yeah, I mean, obviously we were all shocked and devastated. Anytime that something like that happens with someone you love, it's something very difficult to process. And, um, you know, I said from the beginning that my heart was broken for the victims as well. Uh, I know that it was none of what that I said was, was really put in the show, but, um, you know, so it's an interesting takeaway for, for however people want to see it. But uh, in my original statement, I said that I was, uh, you know, obviously protecting our children is absolutely number one. I think the cheerleading industry has done a good job this past year of um, starting to work towards the education needed to uh, put some better safety protocols in place. And I think that, you know, it was important to have that episode to uh, we don't, you know, to make sure that it is known. The more, the more that is talked about, and the more that it's put in the spotlight, I think the more that victims feel comfortable coming forward, and we can uh, do a better job of safe, putting safeguards into, you know, this industry. Yeah, I, I think it's great to hear that changes are being made in light mm -hmm. of what happened. You mentioned your statement; um, it was under a microscope in in the episode. Do you stand by what you said? Do you want to say anything to the victims in addition to what you said? Oh, well, I mean, obviously my heart is broken. It's really tough to even watch that uh, as a mother myself. Yeah. I mean, I would go to war for my kids, you know, so it's um, heartbreaking and, um, you know, it, it's very sad. I'm, I'm happy that they had the opportunity to uh, be heard and, and uh, like I said, give people in, in the same situation um, a feeling of, that they can come forward as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, have you talked to Jerry since he's been in jail or have you responded to his letter to you? Um, I have not responded. Um, you know, that's just a difficult situation to even talk about. Yeah, okay, I understand. <laughs> I don't need to win any more trophies, but I do want to be the best. Cheer season two, it's out now. How has the reception been for you over the past few days and have you watched it yet? <laughs> yes, I have watched it. It was uh, uh, an emotional ride to say the least. You guys did go through a lot this season. I mean, you yourself said it was emotional to watch it back. Yeah. Um, let's start with COVID canceling Daytona and then returning to Daytona. I won't give anything away, but um, how did all of that kind of affect you and, and the team? Oh, goodness. When Cheer came out in 2020, none of us expected it to be big at all. We were kind of caught off guard and everything basically went from zero to 100 really fast. And then, you know, it was just a really tough year after that because obviously I think the whole world thought, oh, we'll be in lockdown for a couple of weeks and then we'll, <laughs> we'll get back to normal. So, you know, I'm always an optimist. I thought, okay, well, we'll be back this summer. Go, our, the new team will get back this summer. We'll go to camp. That didn't happen. All of our sports got moved to the spring. We were in and out of quarantine. It, so, so mentally, it was a tough year already, just fighting a very unnormal year, uh, yeah. a very abnormal year and in and out of quarantine, which is kind of like, you know, it's an isolating feeling and it yeah. just, you know, mentally challenging. So it was tough. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I need your thoughts on Trinity Valley. What, were you surprised that they were such a focus this season? Are you impressed by them? Um, well, no, I knew that they were filming, you know, both of us. Um, and I think, you know, the thing about uh, the two schools is that we push each other to be better. So, uh, you know, we respect each other's talent and uh, the fact that we are competitors just makes each of us better. What have you learned about yourself, I guess, over these past two years? Well, you know, I always knew that I was resilient and a fighter and I feel like that I've 
really had a lot of challenges thrown at me the past uh, couple of years. So, you know, I feel like that I uh, definitely, you know, I've, I've got some strength in me that I knew I had, but it was put to the test the past couple of years. Yeah. I mean, you, you guys always continue, I feel like, to, um, for lack of a better word, cheer each other on. And that was, I think, what was evident throughout every episode. And that's why people continue to root for you. Do you ever think about hanging up that coaching hat? I know you talked about it at the end of the season a little bit. How many more seasons do you see for yourself? You know, I, I don't know. I obviously, I never even thought that I would be in a coach in the cheerleading industry. I thought I would be in the business world. So uh, I, I came into this job thinking that, you know, it was a, t a stepping stone into <laughs> figuring out what I wanted to do. And, and uh, here I am 27 years later. So, you know, I built this program. It's like my baby. Yeah. And I'm no longer doing this, you know, to try to prove myself as a coach or I, I uh, truly love the, the program and the athletes that have come through it. And, you know, as long as I feel like I still have a purpose, uh, you know, to, to be in these kids' lives, I'm gonna continue to do it. And then once I feel like that I've, my job is done here, I will hang up the coaching hat and I'll move into the business world. A lot of people have asked me if I would move on and coach at a university. And the answer is no. I, when I feel like my job, is, my job coaching is done, I will, you know, retire that coaching hat here at Navarro. And I don't know when that will be. I don't feel like it's anytime soon, but definitely that, you know, I'll I'll retire the coaching hat at Navarro. Okay, I love to hear that. Um, will you guys do season three of Cheer? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm just trying to absorb season two right this moment. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see where the future leads. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.